Hello there guys, Mark here. I hope you are well. Today's tutorial is going to show you how to make a relatively simple, nice looking woven paracord bracelet. This bracelet can be done using multiple different colors or in a single tone. Multiple colors can be used to represent flags, clubs, causes, things like that. So it is a versatile bracelet and we're going to be using the loop and knot method to close it. Like this. Let's take a look at the supplies, then get into the tutorial. To make this bracelet you really don't need much. We're going to need three cords, each three feet long for the regular size to rest. These three cords are going to give you the color for your bracelet. One additional cord is going to be used to hold the bracelet together. This cord is four feet long. Finally, scissors and a lighter are going to be used to cut and melt our cords. Let's begin tying. We're first going to set up our project. Usually, I take a scrap piece of cord to create a loop. Then I tape it down. I take my long piece of cord in my case 4 feet long. I'm going to fold it in half, like this, and bring it through the loop. Like this. So this loop is going to hold my project in place while I'm weaving. Now, create a loop, like this, and attach your colorful cords onto the loop. So you fold the cord in half, and you pass it through like this. And the next cord, and the final cord. So this is our initial setup. We can now begin weaving. To weave, we're going to take the left end and we're going to pass under the back end of our first cord and over the front end. Then under the back end of our second cord and over the front end. Under the back end of our third cord and over the front end. Take your right cord and pass alongside the left end. Like this. Take the left end again. Pass over your first cord, which is now the front one, and under the back cord. Over the front cord, under the back cord. Over the front, under the back. Take your right cord and pass alongside the left end. Like this, then tighten up. Pull on all of the ends to get a more consistent weave. At this point, it is also important that you adjust the size of your loop. 
It should be fairly small. We're going to continue the same way. So we start with the left end, we pass under the back end, over the front end, under the back end, over the front end, under the back end, over the front end. Double up your chord with the right chord. like this and simply continue so the left end over the front end under the back end over the front end under the back end over the front end under the back end and double up with the right chord and again tighten up so again we pull on all of the ends. So like this. Then continue weaving until you get the length for your bracelet that you would like. After weaving about the sufficient length for your bracelet, we're going to taper down our weaving to only a few strands. Then we're going to finish up with a stopper knot. The tapering process is super simple. We take a look at the two outer strands and we drop the one going down to the bottom of the bracelet. Then we weave through the five remaining strands. Like this. We now drop the outer two strands, so one on the left and one on the right. They are both facing down to the bottom of the bracelet. Weave through the last remaining three ends. like this and again drop the outer two strands so we now have three ends remaining cross the two side strands like this over the top and we're going to continue by tying a stopper knot we're going to finish our three remaining ends using a stopper knot. In my case, this is the foot rope knot. Take a look at the three ends from the top. 
We are going to first tie a crown knot. Take a strand, pass it counterclockwise over the next strand. And the next strand passes counterclockwise over the next strand. The last of our strands passes into our first loop. And this is the crown knot. It's going to have a triangular shape. Take one of the strands, pass over the next strand, and up through the center of the knot. Like this. And the next strand passes over this strand and up through the center of the knot. And the last of our strands passes over this strand and up through the center. And this is the foot rope knot. Tighten it up as close to the tip of your bracelet as you can. So I usually work the three ends into the knot and out of the ends. Keep doing your tightening until you get a nice looking tip, such as this one here. This one here. Or this one here. So a tapered tip with a stopper knot. As our final step, we're going to clean up our bracelet by cutting and melting our ends one by one. And that's our bracelet. I hope that you got a nice looking one as well. Thank you very much for joining me today, consider supporting the site on Patreon and I'll see you in my future tutorials.